guys, and welcome back to Christmas season. Yay. And you know what we love around the holidays is hot cocoa. Well, guess what? I'm going to show you how to make it sugar alternative and homemade. And it is so easy with three ingredients that you probably have in your house already. Let's get started. We're going to turn our burner on. I like to do this on the stove top. And it goes so fast, so fast on the stove top. So we're gonna get that burner going on high. We'll turn it down in a moment. Just like to go ahead and get it started. Okay, we're gonna start, and this is gonna make about four servings, guys. Or just, you know, however much if you like really, really sipping on that. Okay, so a third of a cup of cocoa goes in there. A half of a cup of coconut sugar. and then a third of a cup of hot water. And then we whisk that together over a fairly high heat and bring that all together and you're probably wondering already, because I know I was the first time I ever heard of cocoa with hot water. You're probably wondering, wouldn't you use milk instead? I did. And let me tell you, several years ago, I was I got this cookbook by Rose Levy Berenbaum. And she explained why you want to use hot water with cocoa. And she said that the reason why is because that hot water versus the milk, the hot water blooms that cocoa and brings out those deep chocolate flavors so well. And it is so incredibly true. Now, this is already coming to a boil. We're gonna boil this for just two minutes, that's all. But already, you guys, that deep, rich chocolate smell is just filling the air. It's so incredible. And don't you worry, we are going to add our milk. We're going to turn that heat down just a little bit. Keep it moving with your whisk like this. All right, now that is where we want it. We're going to turn that down just a teensy bit more. Okay, now that is just lovely. We're going to move that off the heat just for a moment while we add our milk. Now you're going to add one quart of milk. You know I like to, whenever I'm working with things like this on the stove, I like to add my milk that's room temp. It just takes less time to get it hot if you're already starting with it at room temperature. All right, we're gonna move that back onto our element and turn that heat back up. That little dash of salt, what it does is it helps really bring out the flavors of the chocolate even more. So what you've done is you've bloomed that cocoa with the hot water, right? Then that tiny bit of salt enhances that chocolate flavor and really helps it to be bright on your palate. So from this point, all you're wanting to do is bring this up to a really, really good hot drinking temperature. Once it reaches that, you are ready to fill your mugs and go sit by the fire with a lovely Christmas movie or decorate the tree or stream popcorn or put it in a thermos and go look at Christmas lights. That's what we love to do. Oh my goodness sakes, I am such a fan. Last year, we got the family together and we went to look at Christmas lights and I planned ahead and I got two big thermoses and I put, I did a sugar alternative cocoa in one and I did regular sugar cocoa in another one. And I took marshmallows and candy canes and the kids were just thrilled. They just had so much fun with that. And it's so easy. It's fun to make Christmas traditions, isn't it? That we grow up with and keep them, and keep them going with our kids. But 
you know what? Not all of us grew up with things like that. That's okay. Find one that works for you and make that your family tradition. Okay, now looky here. You can see, you see that little bit of foamy looking stuff on the top? That tells me that our cocoa is about to the temperature that we want it to. Remember, if you saw the video on the eggnog and I showed you how you can heat the milk in the microwave and you, one of the ways that you can know that it's good and hot is when it starts to give you that little bit of foamy stuff on the top. Okay, well, our hot cocoa is doing the same thing. So that tells me it's about ready. Again, we don't want it to boil, okay? If you boil your milk and your chocolate together, sometimes it can make it bitter. At this point in time, if you want a little bit of vanilla, add you in just a little drop and that is going to enhance all of that lovely chocolate flavor as well. And because we used coconut sugar in this, we're going to, we're going to have just a teensy bit of those caramely notes as well, which I love, 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 love. Okay. Ooh, look at that, you guys. Oh, that looks so good. Ha ha. Time for the test test. <laughs> and look, this is so fun too. You can get out your fancy glasses that have been sitting in the cabinet for a while. I'll tell you what, because I love chocolate and because I love the deep, dark chocolate flavor, I'm gonna put a sprinkle of cocoa on the top of mine. And you saw how fast and easy that is. Oh yeah, boy. Oh yeah. That just hits the spot. And it's light too, because we used a lower fat milk. We didn't add cream and any of this, that kind of stuff. So it's just the right amount of sweet and just luscious on the palate. Mm. And another taste test for me. Oh, you guys got to try this. And when you do, let me know how it worked for you. If you add your homemade fresh whipped cream on the top, because you've seen that video, right? Ugh. That just sends it completely over the top. It's so good. And you guys, make sure that you're subscribed to the channel if you haven't already done that. And we love bringing our holiday table to you. We'll see you next time on Things Tina Does.